Hey everybody, uh, Bryce Fifth Family Garden coming to you. Do a quick little uh, update on how everything's doing um, before I start making uh, some transitions, taking stuff down and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we started getting some cold snaps here. Um, I guess cold for uh, North Carolina, Virginia border. That is uh, temperatures getting, you know, 40s at night, uh, 60s, 70s during the day, which is great because the heat and humidity I can't stand. But all right, uh, give you a quick tour. All right, the uh, lettuce bed is doing fantastic. Uh, we got some stuff getting eaten a little bit and some things starting to go to seed, but that's okay. That's just that one row over there. Everything else is looking really good. Jumbo jalapeno plants still popping out some flowers, but it's also, you know, it's, it's kind of getting towards that end time. Tabasco pepper plants doing fantastic there. A uh, bunch of stuff starting to pop up. I'll explain all that here in a minute. Squash plant looking good. It's, uh, Rosa Blanca eggplant. Popping a few of those out. Regular eggplant is still doing fantastic. Um, my wife's getting to the point where she's like, geez, what are we going to do with these eggplants? Beans are popping up really good. Uh, sugar snap peas are starting to trellis up good, which is great. Kind of need that. Regular jalapenos are doing good. Uh, pole beans are doing fantastic. I needed to harvest quite a few of these, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. Some more uh, sugar snap peas and whatnot going here. And some more over there. Kale. Uh, so what I did is I topped off my kale as you can see with this one, and it's already starting to shoot out sprouts on the side. Actually found I'm getting better growth throughout the whole side of this just by topping them off. So I might top off some of these other ones just to get some more side shoots. Uh, doing really good. Swiss chard still doing really good. Uh, this one's gonna have to come out. It's not, it's dying. Got some more starting down in there. Some more uh, peas going here get these to start coming back <laughs> so they can go up uh this volunteer uh squash eggplant or zucchini I, I don't know what it is yet that's going pretty good red russian kale uh did a lot of pruning of this now it's doing really good so i can come out and get a get a good harvest of that going uh bell peppers looking pretty good okay there you know some of those plants need to get cut back Snacking peppers are looking fantastic. One little squash plant down there is uh, it's doing all right. I just think it's got a lot of shade. But more snacking peppers. Starting to get some flowers on these finally. Uh, my test of putting three plants close together just didn't work. So two seems to be the limit. Uh, seem to be okay with two. Um, tell you stuff like this that happens. <laughs> so... Uh, this bell pepper is doing pretty good. I need to tie it up some more, maybe get a better support in there for it. All right. Uh, got some spinach popping up in here. Some other things. Cucumbers going there. Uh, another squash plant. My uh, peppers that were all volunteer. I'm gonna give those a really good harvest uh, here this weekend and then probably pull most of those out. Some onions still doing pretty good. Some other things right here. I'll explain all that here in a minute. And tomatoes seem to be, they're, they're gonna get another harvest and then I'm gonna to have to cut a lot of that back. Sweet potatoes look like they're almost done. So I'll be pulling those out probably this weekend as well. Uh, blackberry, I gotta go through and I gotta clean that up. Clean up that area over there too as well. One blueberry is looking good. And over here, uh, already pulled off um, some of these turnips. Got some uh, new greens growing back on them and whatnot. And so all of this here that you're seeing where it's like masses amounts of things just growing in one little place. Got it here, got it down here. And then a lot over in here. 
and some more over here. So what that is, uh, just kind of give you all a heads up. Um, Luke off of MI Gardener, he did a thing where he just tossed a bunch of seeds down, uh, like 6,000 seeds in a small area and just let them go. And uh, I figured, you know, hey, uh, my last go around with this garden, um, we do have the house on the market. And if y'all looking to move to North Carolina, uh, you'll have an established garden for you and I'll be starting all over someplace else. But anyways, um, you know, we uh, figured why not give it a try? So I threw down a bunch of seeds. I got some spinach popping up. I got um, parsley, I got radishes, I got beets, I got uh, some kale, some Swiss chard, uh, carrots. So they're just a bunch of stuff everywhere. Just letting it all go, see what happens. Um, so far, it's not too bad. I haven't harvested anything. It's only been two weeks. So uh, so I didn't have the success that Luke did in two weeks of radishes, but uh, I do have some decent growth. Um, we've had a lot of rain here lately, so I'm guessing that's probably helping out quite a bit now. And uh, just kind of keeping an eye on things and uh, going to pull as I can and hopefully get some stuff out of it before the, uh, the cold, cold blows into here, which will be, uh, you know, 20s. 10s and 20s at night and 40s, 50s during the day. Yeah, cold, I know. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to get what I can out of this uh, before it, uh, be before I can't get anything anymore. And, uh, you know, do a last uh, big hurrah. So that's what I got going here. Um, Y'all got any comments, any suggestions? You know, I'm always game to take them. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And I'll give y'all another update next week. And we'll see how this... Uh, Bunch of seeds everywhere, uh, adventures going on. All right, we'll talk to you soon.